Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your December 2020 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Pisces. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the month of December 2020, the last month of the year. So what do we have for Pisces please, angels, spirits, guides for December 2020, thank you. Okay, two cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Sun. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? A lot of power between those two cards. Definitely stepping into your power, Pisces, that's for sure. Angels, what's the message for Pisces, please, for December 2020? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have helpful people. So there could be people or a person that is of particular help this month. Feels quite strong there. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you. Oh, I'm going to pull four cards, Pisces. And for the monthly, I am pulling four cards. So basically it's one card per week. And then I clarify the cards, go deeper into the message. Remember that the cards in terms of energies can overlap with each other if angel spirits guides want to give a specific message. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Pisceans. Okay, for December. So we have the Hierophant, the card of Taurus. The Lovers, card of Gemini. The Star, my goodness, Pisces. Four out of five major arcana at the moment. It seems a significant month for some of you. We have the star card of Aquarius and <laughs> another one, judgment. Okay. Can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, please, for Pisces? Thank you. December 2020, thank you. Starting with the Hierophant, let's clarify the cards, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces. December 2020, thank you. Thank you. So we've got the Hermit, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have the King of Cups. The Emperor clarifies the Lovers. The High Priestess. Clarifies the star and the world card. Wow. Clarifies judgment. Bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. So Pisces, like I've said, there could be somebody who is particularly of use. Could be in terms of advice, help, um, support, that kind of thing this month. But it feels like someone's advice or actions will be of certain help to you this month. It feels in terms of resolving an issue. Now the Queen of Wands and the Sun. 
This could be a person in your life. Let's get an extra card for this Queen of Wands, please. Because I've also got Aries, and generally I see the Queen of Wands as Aries, and I've got Aries here, so some of you might be dealing with an Aries, or somebody who embodies the energy of an Aries, warrior queen, very successful, uh, magnetic, uh, a go-getting energy, full of drive, passion, desire, fiery. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please. Okay, thank you. So I have the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands is... It's been a difficult journey, but it's nearly over. It is... There is an energy of something is nearly over. Uh, but there is a message of persevere, see something through with the Ten of Wands. Sorry, with the Nine of Wands, because it's one short of the Ten. Queen of Wands is is it feels like I, it feels like you're dealing with a person here, and it feels in this energy that it's been some kind of difficult journey. Again, the Nine of Wands can represent somebody who's been in battle. They have amassed Nine Wands. They're one wand away from completing the journey, but they're tired, they're worn out, they're stressed. And they're wondering, is it worth it? How do I push forward or do I just give up? And it feels like you're in that kind of energy, Pisces. The message with the Sun card is everything will become clear. The Sun is a card of it's a great card of putting an obstacle behind you and stepping into your power, stepping into your light. Now, there is new growth when the sun comes out. Everything begins to start feeling good. It feels uplifted. It can be a card of healing, regeneration, restoration, either for you both as a relationship or you on your own. It can be a liberating energy. So you might be liberating yourself from something here. It feels like there's a poignant choice this month for you to make. Um, but... You are being assisted by divine energy with the sun. It's a card of celebration, joy, happiness, better things to come. So it's a very beautiful energy, very positive. It's the most energy, most um, positive card in the tarot deck. Positivity, fun, warmth, vitality, feel good energy. So it feels for some of you that, I mean, the Queen of Wands can also be about decisive action. Once you make some kind of decision, and it feels like some of you may be holding back from making a decision or choice, but once you take decisive action, you feel better about it. Everything begins to feel good and grow and that kind of energy. It feels quite powerful and there might be somebody helping you. This Queen of Wands, it feels like either there's somebody helping you make a decision or it's about this person or the energy of, which can be about calculated action, decisive action, uh, somebody who is considering all options and then going for something, making their mind up and taking action. Now, the, the Hierophant is, it can be, I mean, this it's a card of Taurus, which is about your being watched over. It's the universe's uh, physical representation on Earth. So, you know, it can be to do with a holy person giving you advice. This can be about a mentor, a spiritual person, that kind of energy. So this could be somebody giving you advice. Um, could be to do with a marriage or a long term, it can be a committed relationship. It represents institutions here. So it feels there is some kind of either committed relationship or marriage. And it's been a difficult journey. There is some kind of decision that you want to make. I see the King of Cups as you, Pisces, male or female energy, but it feels like you are getting balance and trusting your intuition in how you want to move forward in the choice that you need to make because we have the seven of cup which can be about choices decisions and the confusion somebody not knowing how to make one the message with the hermit is you 
there's some introspection going within. That's where you find the answer, the illumination, the wisdom in how you make choices, decisions. So it feels like you're being illuminated by the universe, God, the divine, in how you move forward, being watched over. The, the, and again, with the, the King of Cups holding one cup, it feels in this energy, the answers come from within. You trust how the knowledge, the wisdom from within, you understand how you need to take action in your external environment, which way you need to go. So things are going to become clear in which choice you're going to make this month to do with a relationship. And again, that's what the lovers is. It can be to do with choices. It was always called the choice card before it was called the lovers card. Um, so, and it feels to do with a, a relationship between two people. And again, this feels like an established relationship. Um, very poignant energy, very poignant indeed, Pisces. Because we have the Emperor, it could be to do with an Aries, but it's not limited to that. So this could be somebody who's giving you advice in terms of that choice decision. I mean, we've got the Hierophant card of Taurus. We have the Emperor, the father figure. So there could be a father figure who's instrumental here in guiding you in the right direction. Uh, the, the Emperor is all about initiative. He is the great initiator, somebody who takes action, takes control of situations as well. So it certainly feels in the, in the second week, um, he's somebody who's in his power, who understands how to shape his world and his reality. The world doesn't shape him. So it definitely feels for some of you that you're getting clarity in how you need to take authority, take charge, make your mind up in terms of which way you want to go here. Um, but like I said, there could be a person or people who is who are giving you advice this month, who are helping you, supporting you in which way you need to go. But you're also being guided by the universe. I mean, look at this. This is so beautiful. The high priestess is intuition. And the star is hope, faith, Um it's also an energy of liberation as well, the star, independence, um, independent thought, independent vision, um, getting clarity. I mean, there's clarity of the mind when the star appears. So it feels for some of you, instinctively, you understand which direction you need to go, what dream you want to follow. Again, I'm, I'm seeing this next to the, the Seven of Cups. You're getting clarity in the direction, the choices that you need to make here. And this is about dare to dream how you want to move forward this is you connecting to your truth and understanding how you want to take action find direction how you're moving forward towards hopes dreams wishes um, and liberating from what's gone it feels quite powerful here so again the high priestess is intuitive energy um, inner knowing. There's a lot of internal energy here, Pisces, going within, trusting your intuition, finding answers from within in how you need to take action, take the initiative in your external environment towards making choices, finding your direction, that kind of energy. What is the vision, the goal, the dream that you're moving toward now? And again, there's a kind of future vision, how you see the future unfolding here. The judgment card is quite powerful. It's karmic decisions. It can be to do with a karmic decision. So it can be to do with there is some kind of final decision here. This is you at that point where all decisions have consequences, good and bad. And there's a message that whatever decision you make, you will it will stay with you for quite some time. And, and generally, it, it feels with judgment that it's not reversible. You know, once a decision is made, that's it. So it can also be a second chance card as well. So it feels for some of you that there's a poignant decision that you need to make, Pisces, in terms of whether you stay in a relationship or whether you go your own way. And it feels in this energy that there's some kind of crossroads that you're at here at the moment in how you need to take action. The message is, and the cards are kind of saying, that you already have the answers, the wisdom, the intuition from within, really in terms of which way you want to go, how you want to take the initiative in this situation. Deep down, it feels for some of you, 
it might well be other people or a person in your life is going to confirm that to you um, in terms of how you need to move forward and find direction. Because the, the world is, is stepping through to a new phase of your life. It is a card of uh, com cycles completing. So again, there is the decision or second chance here. And then there is drawing the line into something and stepping through to a new phase of your life. So it feels quite powerful. <laughs> it feels like a really powerful decision here. Um, but you know, with the world card, once you draw a line into something, it feels, I mean, you'll feel good about it. I mean, this is a sense of achievement. Um, I've learned lessons from the past, but I'm not hostage to them anymore. You know, it is, I'm ready for the new phase of my life and taking action towards a new path. It feels very beautiful here. And Page of Cups can be intuitive energy. Um, so again, with the fish, I, I always see this. I mean, this is, the pages represent the three water signs. But, you know, with the fish popping out, it's almost kind of like in this reading. This is the way that my heart's telling me to go. This is the way my intuition is telling me to go. And this is the way I'm going. You know, it's what your intuition, your heart is telling you right now. That is the way that you're choosing to go. And the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Now, the page can also be to do with new opportunity, uh, creative opportunities, love opportunities, self-love. Um, but it feels for some of you, it's an uplifting energy, the Page of Cups, because it holds the Ace of Cups. So it feels in this energy that you're feeling good. You know, this is feeling good in your own skin you know once you've made some kind of decision or choice pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change as well it feels like you're going to feel good about um, <laughs> you're going to feel good about it and finally put whatever situation you needed to behind you and step into your power your light celebration joy happiness new growth abundance success it's very good in terms of money and career as well the sun um but this is feel-good energy on an extraordinary scale. So it feels very beautiful here. Um, very beautiful indeed, Pisces. Two sun cards. So it feels you'll get illumination in which way you need to go, the decision choices. And at the end of this reading, once you've made that decision or choice, you're going to feel good about it. It feels like there's a real uplifting energy towards the end of the month. Once you've dealt with this situation, it feels very beautiful. Powerful reading, Pisces. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for our lovely Pisces, please. Okay, oh, there's a few. <laughs> But let's read them, Pisces, they fall out for a reason. So we have the giraffe, bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And that's what the star does, you know. It's the visionary energy, seeing all things and then finding direction. Um, monkey in a child, don't take life too seriously. And that's what the page of cups is. It's uplifting, it's fun, things start looking up. There's a light-hearted energy with the Page of Cups, you know. The horse, free spirit. So give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. So it might well be space to make some kind of decision choice, find introspection, find answers from within in how you move forward. It can be free spirit energy as well. Could be that's the decision you're going with for some of you. And we have the panda, balance. Ask how to bring balance back to the situation and into your heart. There's illumination here. Everything will become clear. There's a kind of feeling here that you make decisions on choices from the heart, from within. The answers are from within. The illumination is from within in how you need to move forward. And it feels instinctively some of you already know which way you want to go. Um, it is then allowing yourself to, it might be one or two people are in your life who you want to talk to, Pisces, to get some feedback in how you move forward. There's a sense of new hope, optimism coming your way. The star is an incredibly optimistic card. So, and it's also a card of blessings from the universe, aligning to your soul path, really 
trusting your intuition and how you move forward. But it definitely feels for some of you, you will be making up your mind this month in which way you want to go. And as soon as you do that, everything feels amazing, great. Uh, new growth, energized, feeling good, uplifted. Yeah, it feels beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.